My name is Pam Kane, and I am the department chair of the Department of Business and Technology at Worthington Christian. The Department of Business and Technology at Worthington Christian consists of Pam Kane, myself, I teach all the technology courses, and Nick Johnson teaches the business courses. Through the technology department, we have several courses, and they all really focus around problem solving and critical thinking, which the students can apply to any areas. Um, through the programming classes, the student might be given a problem like, how do I schedule a student into courses? And can I create a program to do that? Uh, they may actually also be asked to simulate a board game. And so they're going to have to go through the engineering design process of knowing what the problem is initially and then researching what um, is already out there maybe for that problem or some of the techniques they need to solve that problem. And sometimes that can be hard for a student. This day and age, their uh, immediate gratification. And so realizing that in order to play that video game that you enjoy to play, um, there's a lot of steps that went into it. And then if you want to create something as well, you're going to have to test and plan and fail and be okay with your failures and learn from those. So through the various courses, the programming, through the engineering class, robotics, they, they test out all of these critical thinking and problem solving skills, um, the robotics department, and through that class and through some competitions, they would have to not only learn how to structure the robot to move and pick things up and do physically what they want it to do, but then they would code it as well so that it could react to its environment and know where the items are to pick up. Um, so it is a very all-encompassing uh, department and area and it really ties in not only to business and technology but we find that it's cross-curricular. They can use these skills to determine um, what they're going to do in science class. Critical thinking applies to all areas and I think um, students just really benefit from the more practice they get through problem solving and critical thinking. One of the unique things about teaching technology is not only we're in the classroom in front of the computer, as you can imagine, that's a, a decent part of the curriculum, but we get to get out in the world and have some real life experiences. I've taken the students on field trips. Um, we have gone to a hospital construction site through the engineering department, and we, the students have been able to see the tools that we're using in the classroom used in the real world. We hear, hear business professionals say, yeah, we do the same thing you're doing, and then we make a building. And we put the hard hats on, and we walk around, and it's really rather neat. The field trips, I don't think, are very um, abundant at a high school level, but it shows the kids that this is not just an educational, academic, you know, between nine and five kind of thing. This is, we're teaching you things that people are using in their job. Teaching business and technology at a Christian school is quite a blessing for me. It's unique in the fact that we can approach this area from a godly lens. Um, technology can be used or misused, and often we will see the focus on the fact that um, people are not using technology appropriately. And sometimes parents will actually try to ban it, which I agree with, um, but teaching the children the use of the technology and the fact that there are benefits as well as pitfalls and to make your choices to the glory of God in using something that God created.